Hi, this is Adam with PhotoNerdsUnite.com and today I'm going to talk about the four key Lightroom sliders that will supercharge your photos. Lightroom is kind of like a Swiss army knife in that it does so many things for many photographers, amateurs, professionals, and anywhere in between. There are four options hidden in plain sight right there in the basics panel for develop module that can dramatically enhance almost any photograph. Adjusting these four options is the very first thing I do on almost every single photograph. These four sliders are the highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks. Learning how to work with these four sliders can have an amazing impact on your photography. To demonstrate the effects of each slider, we're gonna go ahead and edit this photograph here. If you're used to using exposure and contrast sliders to adjust your images, you may wanna put those aside for now and focus on these other four instead, as they can give you significantly better results. The picture I'm going to start with is shot in the Columbia River Gorge in Oregon of some mountains. It was a pretty hazy day there. So right now the image looks pretty flat, but it'll be made much more vibrant and richer just by adding these four key Lightroom sliders. First, let's talk about the highlight slider. The highlight slider allows you to perform a similar type of adjustment, but only the brightest parts of an image. Moving it to the left will make the brightest parts darker and moving it to the right makes the same parts brighter. Another cool part of this is if you hover over the highlights tab and you look in the histogram at the same time, you'll notice that it'll show you which parts of the image or tones are going to be affected. I'm gonna use this as a starting point when making the adjustment to the picture because it can help recover some of the details in the lighter parts of an image that might seem a bit too bright or washed out. It can also give the picture a more evenly lit appearance overall. As you adjust the highlights or any of the three sliders mentioned today, you can use the built-in clipping guide to help get the right amount of adjustments to your image. You can do this simply by hitting the letter J. If you'd like to know more about the clipping alerts, you can click the link above to watch that tutorial. Next, let's talk about the shadows. In the similar vein as the highlight slider, the shadows options makes the dark parts of the images a little brighter or a little darker. It's kind of like using the exposure slider to make your image brighter, but restricting it only to the sections of an image that are very dark while ignoring the rest. I should also note that you could use the same shadow slider to make the shadows in the area even darker. And actually in this photograph, I'm going to darken the shadows down. Next, let's talk about the white slider. The white slider is related to the highlight slider, but has a slightly different impact on your image that is subtle but quite impactful. Adjusting this to the right essentially makes the white tones in your image more pure white. It affects all the white tones in the photo, as opposed to the highlight slider, which only deals with a narrow range of very bright colors. What you're doing here is setting the white point or telling Lightroom what you want the brightest point of your photo to actually be. This can give a flat image much more depth and tonality and take the otherwise boring picture and really start to make it shine. I almost always drag this slider a little bit to the right, though you might be careful not to let anything get clipped like I'm doing here. You can see all of the red parts showing me that these parts now are being clipped. So clearly I've gone a little bit too far to the right. Lastly, let's talk about the black slider. Similar to the white slider, this one adjusts the black point of your image or how dark the darkest portions really render. I almost always slide this to the left to give my photos a little bit more punch. It helps the pictures have a little more contrast while bringing out a lot more color in any image as a whole. Again, I wanna be careful not to clip too much of the shadows or too much of the black point. One difference to note when adjusting this slider as opposed to the others is that you actually do want a black level to be clipped slightly. So I do wanna see a little bit of clipping, I just don't wanna see a lot of clipping. The reason for this is to make the very darkest parts of your image truly black, which adds depth and a nice pleasing look to your pictures. That is far more effective than simply moving the contrast slider. To give you a clear sense of just how much these four sliders can affect an image, here's a quick before and after. I'm gonna turn the clipping alerts off. Here's a quick before and after of just those four adjustments and what they've done to this photograph here. Remember, the only thing that were adjusted were the highlights, shadows, whites, and black sliders, nothing else. 
There are dozens of other edits that can be done in Lightroom to improve your photos. Simple things like increasing the clarity, adjusting the tone curve, fine tune sharpening, etc, etc. But if all that seems a little bit too much to take in all at once, just know that you can get a huge amount of improvements just by moving these four sliders in the basics panel. And that's it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to our channel. Hopefully you like this content. If you did, leave a comment down below and we'll catch you in the next episode.